so I'm reading this book by John Maxwell, who's like an expert in leadership. If you're in business, you know who John Maxwell is. And, and he talks about the law of the lid. And when I'm first reading this, um, I'm just reading it to even understand what it is. I, I don't necessarily know that I really comprehended the issue, but in there, it talks about that whatever your, your current lid is, that that's the, the, that's the, the max on your business. That's the cap on your business. That's the lid on your business. And so he says, if you're a two, you know, and you want to bring a four into the business, right? Put that four in front of a five until you are in a position where you could do that yourself. So in our business, we recruit licensed and trained agents to do life insurance. And, um, and sometimes you may have a client who's really, really uh, sophisticated and they've done very well in their life and you're brand new and you're like, man, I really want to make the sale from that, you know, this policy. Um, so let me, let me go try to run it. And then you, you just, it doesn't go well. The problem, there's, there's a couple failures there. One, you fail to make, you know, an income, you fail to help that client, uh, but you've also failed to learn how to operate in that market. And so we always talk about, you know, match up with somebody that can help you with that appointment. And that 50% of something is better than a hundred percent of nothing. Um, I remember when I, my business started growing, we started bringing in better people and I had the ability at that time to train them, but I didn't have the ability to attract them, to recruit them. So I would put them in front of somebody that was better than me uh, at that time. And I'm not talking about, you know, better human being. I mean, better in the business, better skilled, more successful, more experienced, more knowledge. And I would um, bring them on board. Right. And, and that was that was a huge point for me to learn that I could leverage somebody to help me grow my business, to help me bring in that client, to help me bring in that agent. But I wanted to learn how to do it so that I could do it in the future. And so over the last 19 years, I've worked on raising my leadership lid of uh, what I know how to do, what I can handle my capacity. And that is a very important decision. I think that people need to make on what is what is my lid? Where am I blocked? What what don't I do? Uh, what don't I know? Uh, what can I not? What can I not uh, uh, handle? Um, I, I'm not good at handling conflict. Uh, I'm not good at sales. Uh, I'm not good at developing other leaders. Uh, I'm not good at managing office finances. You know, where are these areas that I'm not good at that I can grow in that I can learn more about, so that I have the ability to be able to handle those things in the future. And so I think you need to identify where those limitations are, where your current lid is. And then from there, once you become aware of that, then you could say, okay, what's my plan or strategy uh, to improve these things? Is it books? Is it conferences? Is it mentorship? Is it processing? Is it asking questions? Is it attending training? What is it that I can do to improve in this area? And if you have two, two human beings and one is just generally trying to grow, which is a good thing, but another one is very specific in the areas that they're focused on growing currently and they have a personal growth plan, a personal development plan. They are going to, they're intentional. They're going to get more out of that personal development. They're going to get more in the same time because they're specific as to what their next mentality or mindset or skill is that they need to acquire. And so, um, and, and, and this is a never ending process, right? Constant and never ending improvement. Uh, that whole, can I constant and never ending improvement? Uh, I'm listening to how to master the art of selling right now by Tom Hopkins. And I've been selling for 19 years. Why? Because sometimes we drift, right? We drift away from those practices. Uh, I was talking to Shane earlier about a, a book that talks about what goes on in life and there's seasons and there's uh, uh, things that we need to be reminded of constantly because we all do that. So, um, so that, 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 that next version of you, um, maybe they need to be better in sales. Maybe they need to be better in coaching. Maybe they need to be better in time management. Maybe they need to be better at teaching. Maybe they need to be better in their systems. Like what, what is it that you need to be better at so that you can increase your lid? Uh, because if, if you're a four and you're the best, right, then your people, not only do you have a lid, but you now just became the lid for your organization. Unless you expose that person to somebody else that has a higher lid or is stronger in that area. And that's what, uh, people that are intelligent do. Uh, there are people that are egotistical that say, Hey, I want to be, 
uh, I want to be looked at, right, as everything to everybody. And it stems more from insecurity. Like, what if my guys don't look at me like a leader? When in reality, a leader knows their weaknesses and says, hey, you know what? This person is better in this area. I want to expose all of us to this person. I want to expose all of us to this environment, to this conference. I want us all to go here and get better. And that actually is such a great thing to model because your people are able to see that you're not the finished product, that you're still in the process of improving because sometimes they may look at you and maybe you're in a position where you're doing well and they just don't relate to it, right? And if you don't talk about the mistakes that you made in your process, they forget that, hey, you started where, where they are. And I remember uh, we go to this uh, uh, retreat in Washington, D.C., and I'm sharing a room with a gentleman named Bill Vogel, who's an incredible human being. Him and his wife, Beth, uh, create uh, after-school programs to teach kids about God. And we're sitting in the room, and he says, George, there's four levels to this, to this business and stages that people go through. And he says, one is creation, which is where you're doing the work, you're growing your business, and it's phenomenal. Stay there. He says, two, people move into management. Um, and there's a part of that that you're, as your business grows, you kind of need to, but too many times people stop creating and they just manage only. He says, you got to stay in the creation phase and develop good management. And he says, number three, they'll start blaming people uh, for, their, for their lack of results. He says, this is when they're starting to become bitter, um, and he says, number four, what they do is they shield and they no longer expose their team to any other leaders or any other people. Um, and what happens there is that all of your mistakes now will be duplicated because your people don't have the ability to learn from anybody that's better than you. Um, a lot of our guys in our business, they want to, if they're training a team, they want all those sales to go through them. What they're not understanding is that if you have any area of your business that's bad, every single other person that's duplicating you is going to duplicate that aspect. So being able to identify who's the best at different things and then expose people to those people. If you're constantly learning yourself, you're raising your lid. That allows you to attract better people. That it allows you to train better people. That allows you to retain better people. So what is your lid? What is your capacity? Um, is, it, is, it, is it in faith? Is it in fitness? Is it in business? Is it in finance? Uh, I say those things because I want to follow people. I want to learn from people that are ahead of me in all of those areas. I want to learn from people that know more about their, you know, God and uh, know more about the Bible and know more about faith and know more about the spiritual world. Like I want to be around people like that. I want to be around people that are in better shape than me. And you're intimidated, you know, but that's a good thing. Like they're pushing you or you're going to work out with somebody that can, you know, runs faster or, or is stronger than you. Um, and, and you got to be faced with that. You got to accept that. And instead of looking at it like, man, that's a weakness, say, man, this is such a great opportunity because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to where they are because I'm spending time doing the things that they're doing. And so I want to be around people that have a higher lid than me. And the more you're around people that have a higher lid than you, the more your lid raises. But identify where are those limitations, where's your current lid, and how do you break through it? I hope this video added some value to you. If it did, please like it uh, and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.